Hi everyone, and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking to see if aloe vera makes a good rooting hormone. I'll be taking a number of cuttings from this tomato plant and racing them with and without the aloe vera gel to see which plants propagate faster. To help our plants propagate, we want to remove lower level sets of leaves as well as any flower sites that are already on these stems. I've got a bunch of cuttings here ready for us today, and this is our aloe vera plant. I've grown it from seed, and it's about 10 months old at this point. The leaves are beginning to fill out nicely, and we should have a good amount of gel inside of the leaf that we cut. I'm using a kitchen knife here and trying to cut into the largest leaf on this plant. It was pretty easy to get the knife through there and ultimately cut off this leaf. Right away, we can see just how much moisture and gel there is inside of these leaves. I'll be cutting away the upper part of this leaf, trying to expose the gel inside so that we can isolate that gel for our cuttings. This was pretty easy and straightforward to accomplish. Once I had the top of the leaf off, I was very easily able to scrape away at this gel and remove it from the bottom side of the leaf. From here, I'm looking to apply pressure to this gel, squishing it and mixing it around. As I do this, liquid is secreting from that blob of gel. That liquid is gonna be full of salicylic acid, which is a rooting hormone, and that's what we're hoping will help our cuttings to grow roots faster. I'm gonna be using 12 cuttings in this test. We'll take six cuttings and place them in a tap water control to compare our other six cuttings, which will be treated with the aloe vera gel. I'm sorting these cuttings based on their size and pairing them off so that we have a consistent comparison between our control and the aloe vera. For our stems receiving the aloe vera treatment, I'm simply dipping the bottom of that stem into our liquid, looking to coat about an inch or so of the bottom of that stem. From here, I'll be moving it into a reservoir. All of these reservoirs are filled with plain tap water that hasn't been treated in any way. I've got pipe cleaners set up to suspend those plants where only the bottom inch or so of the stem is submerged in the water. I repeated this process until we had six plants treated with aloe vera and six plants acting as controls. I decided to take what was left of the aloe vera gel and add it to one of my treated reservoirs just to see if that would have any additional effect on those plants. We rejoined these plants on day 8 to take a look at their root systems. Starting with our controls, these plants were placed in untreated tap water and each and every one of them has grown roots. There is some variability between the stems. Some stems propagate faster than others, and that's just the way it is. We can see though that each of these stems has a number of roots growing from them, and some of them are getting pretty long. This last cutting here is probably the worst of the controls. It does have roots, but they're not quite long yet. They'll continue to grow. This plant's maybe a day behind the rest of these controls. Next up, we have our aloe vera treated stems. You can see some of these don't have very much root growth at all. There is small roots beginning to peek out, but these are quite a bit behind our water controls. Two of these stems have solid root growth, which is on par with our water controls, but the majority of them are falling behind. Our last stem here doesn't have any root growth yet. It is bulging a bit near the bottom, which would suggest it'll root soon. But as you can see, these treated plants are falling behind the water controls. Also of note is the leaves on these stems. They seem to be browning and the tips are drying out. This is not a sign of good health and this is not something that we saw with the water controls. Entering the screen now is our water control stem which performed the worst. You can see though that even this has outperformed a number of our aloe vera treated stems. I think the water control is the clear winner here 
and aloe vera as a rooting hormone might just be lies from the internet as we've seen a number of times with these DIY solutions. Be sure to check out my Propagation Races playlist. It's available in a link on screen now. In there, I've tested a number of DIY rooting hormones. Some work and some don't. And we've been testing what the best way to cut stems is. Thanks a lot for watching this video. And as always, happy harvesting.